do I know about neighbourhoods? Well, see, when I when I was growing up, I was brought up in a, a huge council estate, and it was big flats, huge long balconies, six stories high, and then at either end were these huge big tower blocks. Uh, one was 17 stories high, and one was 15 stories high. And when we were kids, we used to play out on the streets. Well, we didn't have streets. We used to play out on the balconies, or we used to play out what was in the car park, really. But no one could afford a car, so it was just a bit of waste ground. One of the things I love about this place is that there is still a feeling of space and a feeling of sort of, I don't know, ease, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't be unheard of, I would imagine, for kids to be playing football around here and just having fun, nice and safe, out of the way. Um, people riding bikes. Obviously, before coming here, my, my only knowledge of Australia and, and of its culture and of its look and things like that is, was, was from what I've seen on television. So, I mean, obviously, you've got um, things like uh, the, the big soaps, you've got Home and Away and Neighbours, Blue Healers, and a few other shows that I've seen. And, and all of them are very, very, um, well, to me, they were very sort of Caucasian, really, you know. Let me make this clear right now. I am your employer, and this is a professional relationship, OK? A potted history of the Raji James School of Acting um, begins at the age of eight uh, in a production of Sweeney Todd at my junior school and my drama teacher at secondary school got me involved in doing productions at the Further Education Portsmouth College of Art where in a very short space of time I was in things like Caucasian Chalk Circle by Brecht and, and in that I played like six different characters ranging from uh, a 90 year old man to uh, a 14 year old girl. And then I went to do my A-levels. And right, even though I'd been doing drama all that time, right up until doing my A-levels, um, I was convinced I was going to be a pilot. And drama was just like a sort of thing that I did to keep me off the streets and stop me from getting into trouble. So my first, my first TV job was The Bill. Um, and that was back in, uh, I think, 19... Blah, 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 54. And, and I had um, three lines. And each one of them was yes. Because uh, I was asked, did, did you do this? Yes. Is this your bag? Yes. So are you so-and-so? Yes. <laughs> and that was it. That was the duration of my part. And then 10 years later, I walked into the same studio um, dressed as DS fixing on a permanent contract. Well, not permanent. Nothing in this game is permanent, but on a long-term contract. 